Thanks so much for watching Virginia this morning right here on CBS 6. This nonprofit is an amazing community resource here as they transform lives through art. They have a very special event coming up this week on Thursday, and you're invited. The organizers share all the details with Andrea Swipe Murdaugh. Here's that conversation. Earlier this year, I had the chance to speak with Art for the Journey about their incredible postcard project. And today they join me yet again to talk about their fifth annual art exhibition and celebration on November 12th. We welcome Jamie Wigginton, Director of Programs and Melba Gibbs, Community Engagement Coordinator. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be with you. I'm so excited about this because you have an incredible mission and you have continued offering opportunities to those in our community despite COVID-19. Tell us a little bit about how you've been able to do that and what Art for the Journey has been able to offer. Sure. We're a local nonprofit and we believe that art heals. So especially during COVID, we have tried to recreate all of our programs, which normally serve veterans with PTSD, women in prison, elders with dementia and Alzheimer's, children who live in at-risk communities. We have created YouTube videos that they can access online. We've got a PBS show that people can access who may not have access to the internet, but they can watch public television. That's on Fridays. We have virtual programs for elders with dementia. We purchase tablets and, and headphones for them to do artwork um, through Zoom. We've got Zoom classrooms going in at-risk at risk um, neighborhoods and even um, have been able to go to the Virginia War Memorial and work with veterans recently. And so we'll get to continue to do that. That's been a great experience. We've also started our art class classes back up for folks in the community who just wanna learn how to oil paint and we all socially distance and wear masks. What I love so much about Art for the Journey is that you spend time providing access regardless of your age, your skill level, your, your tech savvy, everyone is impacted by art. And that's truly the mission. But certainly that mission requires funding in order to make sure it can continue. So you have the fifth annual art exhibition and celebration coming up on November 12th that has been readjusted to make sure that everyone remains safe, but also able to make an impact. Tell us a little bit about how this year's event will work. It will be very different than a normal event on a Thursday evening or a Saturday evening. Um, ours is November 12th and 5.30 to 8.30. And we will be able to host it um, and have individuals attend buying a ticket. But if you do not want to attend, you can certainly go on your phone and register to buy and make donations through your telephone. So IT, and you, don't, you don't have to be very IT brilliant to do that um, using Give Smart that we have. So we are planning to have um, a wonderful event that will have about 150 um, paintings from our uh, professional painters, from our amateur painters, from our volunteers, our staff, and those people who participate in our program will be available for sale. We'll also have a silent auction uh, with some of the pieces from our children's programs that we have. Uh, tickets are available online, and if you want to learn more about this uh, program, you can simply Google and go online to artcelebration.givesmart.com. And all of our funds, of course, will be used for our uh, operations uh, and also for our art supplies, which is not cheap. It's um, and keeps going up. So we hope to have a good crowd there, um, and this is our fifth annual, and we're looking forward to doing it a very different way this year. Well, we are so excited for you, excited that you can continue with this, excited that our own Greg McQuaid is going to be your honorary master of ceremonies and has been involved with this event many times. And we're excited that so many will benefit from the fundraising that you're doing. Again, no matter the age, no matter the art interest, they will benefit from everything that you're doing. Thank you for being with us and making sure that art is truly continuing to be impactful during these difficult times. Thank you. Thank you.
For those of you who are interested in learning more about the fifth annual art exhibition and celebration on November 12th, we invite you to our website, wtdr.com slash VTM, where you can find all the information you need to purchase your ticket today.